Welcome back! Oh, what's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <coughs> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, Principal. Welcome to Gekko Khan High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at Gekko Khan. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, She's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. Oh, no. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I used to get nervous very easily. And I once had a phobia of men, too. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Adagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. 
Cabo what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. Alrighty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. Isn't there something funny about this place? 
Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Uh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Hey, 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 doo Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. Ugh, if only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Eh, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Whee! You remembered, Chie-chan. Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm, it's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great! <laughs> the other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we got to deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? What's the matter? Oh, what's this giant teddy bear? My, you must have some nimble fingers. <laughs> All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. I gotta pee.
Whoa! So this is a club. Woo! I'm totally ready for this! There's nothing like this back home. Is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Uh, <clears throat> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was canceled. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Are you sure this is... Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either! Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh, you're so... Cold kanji. Mm. Kanji. 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 I conjecture that something's up. <laughs> That's a great one. Man, Man you're already in high gear. <laughs> conjecture. <laughs> She's loser and usual too. Hey, hey wait a sec. sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're not an alcoholic. Mm -hmm. I told them. Really, I did. Really. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? But the smells. Like this. Adults Adult play the king's game. game. It's the law. <laughs> What's their problem? They make me act like a dentist, call me Rosetta Snug, and say I'm a kid. It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot better after I go home. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop chop! It's already started? Um, what's this king game again? Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have a number on them. The king picks the number and says whether well, that person has a deal. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Since I hear you're such an adult, you tell him. You can go? Where'd you learn this stuff? Come on, everyone rock!
Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy says red! Red! Is Teddy the king? We're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay! Smooch! Smooch! Please, God, grant me a girl. Number three! Ah! I meant number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! Kanji! So you were after my fuzzy fur! Okay! But it's my first time! Be gentle! Whoa! Oh, oh, I quit that! Don't let me find you, damn it! Ah, no! No! Hey, help! Ooh! Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already! Huh? Is it that kind of me? On to round two! Who's the king? Phew! Someone decent! No crazy orders this time! That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme! C.A. Don't be such a party pooper! <laughs> hey! The person who gives pay pay should have to rest their head on the king's lap! Nah, my big son's lap! Oh! Or they could have to hook him! Better than that, a piggyback ride! Come on, king! Who's gonna do what? Yes! I'm number one! What? What? Oh, man, you don't know how much I want to trade places with you right now. all the rules. Just ignore her now, no. No. No, no that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. No. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay! No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu... No? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police, and looks after me despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it? No punchline? <laughs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so 
embarrassing. Isn't that what I'm embarrassing? I want to go home. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. A straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we are rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then we do stuff like Persona! With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! Jeez, I'm gonna put these two drugs to bed already! I see now that you have no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Who cares? <laughs> it feels so good. Good night! Hey, Senpai! How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy still totally okay! <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. As I said, Ed, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? In town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? You're not hungry? I'm not. <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrate, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Mm, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Just keep the noodles hard. Um, I'm all the hug of curry bowl. Normal menu I don't know? Oh, I should have passed. Well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no problem. See those signing boards? My autograph's out there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. Get to be worn out over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside the ramen? <laughs> Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? You didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many of you eat me? I don't know how to count. You little liar. Give me that check. 
Let's see. One, two, ten balls? You can just mix it eleven. I was going to finish mine. Leave it here. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to meeting time. Already? I thought the trick was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet the Autotron will be expecting one. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo. Hey, hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. Dude. Hey, hey, hey move it. Is, is he hibernating? Hey. Don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <laughs> My tummy's heavy! Leave it behind. I hate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I must be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look! My big bro got me a souvenir! Hey, nice! Did you remember to thank him? Of course! Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. You talk to him much? He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready?
Yo! See you later.
You're back. Hey. Night.
Welcome to the Velvet Room.
हाँ
and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Naoto-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases, Sixteen of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Hi, Senpai. Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Tokun was on. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is, in fact, a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. 
But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naotokun?
big bro? Hey! They look. Sorry to bother you.
Welcome back. notice. What exactly is the Midnight Channel anyway? Did it have anything to do with the murders? Ugh, this is so frustrating. Hey, what do you think? Did you recognize who appeared just now? So, about the Midnight Channel last night, I wonder who that was. I talked to Teddy and he says no one's entered the other side. Well, yeah, the killer's been caught. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Come on, get with the program. You saw the TV last night, right? So? It's got nothing to do with us. The killer's behind bars, man. You guys are overreacting. Yeah, that shit Nalto said didn't make any sense either, so there's no use getting all worked up about it. Huh? Nalto-kun? Uh, no, well, how do I put it? What, were you out of it because you were still thinking about what Nalto said? <laughs> so you're still hung up on all that stuff. That's... I ain't hung up on it! It's okay, we all understand. Just don't go overboard, man. You little... I said that's not it! <laughs> I got stuff to do. I'm out of here. Stop bringing that up, Yosuke. You know he doesn't think it's funny. Oh, what? What? Did something happen between Kanji and Naoto-kun? Well, that aside, is it me or does the town seem kind of strange lately? Everyone is in high spirits for some reason, and they all talk about other people, but never themselves. Really? I don't think it's anything special. Now that the murder case is solved, people feel relaxed, that's all. That's how society is. 
They all just want to get in on the latest trend. People get excited fast and lose interest even faster. It goes round and round. There's no underlying reason for it. I don't know. It still seems a little too weird. It's like they're all afraid of something. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I just had this feeling. Huh. It's gonna rain again tonight. We should check the Midnight Channel just in case. Welcome home, big bro. Well... Last night on TV, that was Naoto Kun for sure. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course! That's why Naoto Kun appeared on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? We came to the same conclusion he did, about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? 
That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? I get it now. I remember Naotoken mentioning this. He said it was strange that the police were able to identify the cause of Mr. Moraoka's death. Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naoto-kun, that's the real killer? But, but wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but, um... To hell with someone who's behind bars! If we don't get off our asses, that stupid Nato's gonna die in there! We gotta go find him! Someone's definitely in here, and the world seems to have grown larger. That's amazing, Risei-chan. There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. Damn it! There's too much we don't know about that kid, but if we don't do something, he's gonna... Hey, snap out of it! This is just like all the other times. Let's not panic, keep an eye on the weather, and do this like always. We'll save him no problem. First, we need to look for something that'll help us locate him. I, I know. I, I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. So all we gotta do is get him out. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. Then I could find him for sure!